That is just a very good looking car, that Volvo, which was in the show. It was. I mean, it doesn't really exist because no. you can't buy one from real. No, or you can't buy a Subaru. No. Or any, any of the cars you've told us about this week. Yes, I know. I That's didn't waste everybody's time. <laughs> but I suppose really the biggest news of the show uh, was James's death. Oh, God, yeah. James is dead. Uh, you've forgotten. Yeah, I know. Poor. He's still in paperwork. He should have stayed in. He's inconvenient. Yeah, it's it more than anything. I know, obviously, we were a bit sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's an administrative thing. There's a lot of paperwork, a lot of forms. Yeah, there were people going, could anything have been done to save him? What if he'd been wearing a high visibility jacket? How can you save him? He's dead. He's dead. Um, yeah. So if you do, uh, if you fancy a job on top of here, write to us. It's, I'm an unbelievably dreary pedant. Um, Tom, uh, well, what what you Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Let everything come relax. Right at, um, I'm quite sorry to hear James is dead, but can I have his job, please? Care of. Yes, I think, just mark your envelope, as I said. So, Chris, uh, and that really is it. I hope you enjoyed the show. I think um, after the Australian one, it wasn't particularly brilliant. The Australian one. He's not that dead, obviously, he has got a bit of a sort of dying. No, no, yes. <coughs> Nothing to see there. He's about to be dead under that phone because he's looking at a blender under it and it's dead. No, um. What was I saying? I can't remember you rambling on. I spent my life standing next to you whilst you ramble on. No, no, I was 